Imagine you're out camping, somewhere remote, and you realize you need something from a convenience store. Could be some water, some ice, a snack. And then imagine such items being flown several kilometers and dropped right where you are. Well, this is now a reality in Korea, and it's just the start of drone delivery services here. In the case of CU, a major chain in Korea, it started offering drone deliveries this month from its convenience store in the eastern county of Yangwol, Gangwon province. Available on Fridays and Saturdays to campers using a designated facility 3.6 kilometers away, products can be delivered for free via a drone measuring 70 centimeters in height within 10 minutes of purchases being ordered via an app. And CU's not the only one. 7-Eleven has also just opened a store with a drone station in Gapyong, Gyeonggi province, offering deliveries over a distance of a kilometer in less than three minutes. Also for free, and also limited for now to customers using nearby lodging facilities. These services are set to expand when government regulations ease further, after officials announced plans last month to support the industry's progress. Another major local chain, GS25, has no plans to commercialize drone deliveries in the near future, citing safety issues and regulations. But GS25 will need to be careful not to miss out. There's a major push around the world to roll out drone deliveries, with various delivery initiatives already underway. Korea has in fact been playing catch-up, investing heavily in recent years to create a wide-ranging industry driven by various kinds of drone. That was clear recently when the third Korea Drone and UAM Expo was held from July 15th to 16th at Gochok Sky Dome in Seoul, hosted by the Ministry of Land, Infrastructure and Transport and involving major local companies from Korean Air to Kakao Mobility. During the event, Minister Won Hee Ryong announced plans to devise flying taxi laws by the end of next month to make way for the service to lift off by 2025. And the race is underway, with SK Telecom saying at the Busan International Motor Show we recently attended that it's confident it will be the first to launch an air taxi service here, a reality we may be experiencing within three years.